I was in an auto parts store a few days ago. I wanted a little bit of 134A. I didn't have a 30 pound cylinder and I only needed a pound or two, so I was going to buy a little can of it. All I found was refrigerants with leak dye, leak sealer, oil, uh, additives to make it super refrigerant. And it got me to thinking, once I actually found R134A that didn't have any of that crap in it, there's a lot out there about additives to refrigerant. Additives to refrigerant are pure, unadulterated baloney. Do not add anything to your refrigerant to make it better. Uh, I'll discuss leak solutions, uh, you know, leak detecting solutions. Uh, they supposedly don't have any effect. Consider anything that you put in a refrigerant including oil to be a negative for refrigerant performance. Uh, we have to have oil in refrigerant. Now it doesn't mean you have to buy a can with oil already in it. But uh, refrigerant has to be able to mix with oil because all compressors pump some oil. Okay. The addition of the oil in with the refrigerant reduces the capacity of the refrigerant, reduces its efficiency. But it's one of those things that's necessary. Okay, so if I have a, uh, a commercial or a residential unit, uh, there's going to be oil in the liquid refrigerant because it is pumped out of the compressor. It's just what compressors do. And it's something we just have to live with. It's okay, it's not great, but it's one of the things we have to live with. We do not have to have a leak detecting solution, say it. Okay, a leak detecting solution, of course it's advertised that it doesn't affect the efficiency. Well, it, it does a little bit. It's probably not huge. Is, leak, or is dye leak detection a great way to find leaks? No. Uh, some guys will disagree with me on that, but... I've always found that whenever I was looking for leaks with that stuff, I had to get it so dark in order to use the light, the UV light, to see that stuff. It, it just got crazy. and I, I never did find a leak with it. Now, some guys are different. Maybe they found them. That's great. And I would accept that, I suppose. Okay. Leak sealing solutions. Absolutely not. Never, ever put that crap in an air conditioner. I know leaks can be the most frustrating things to find. That stuff will ruin gauge sets. God, you go pay four or five hundred dollars for a, uh, an electronic gauge set and have it damaged by that crap. Uh, of course, it'll ruin uh, micron gauges. So, none of that. Don't put any of that leak crap in your system. It's just not a good idea. Okay, additives to make it more efficient. Some of you guys may not want to believe this, but you know something? Manufacturers make a product like these things here, and they make it to very tight specifications that they, these things have to pass very tight specifications for purity. So why for purity? because the purest refrigerant is going to be the most efficient, longest, you know, will contribute to the lasting of the equipment. All these things are the best it's going to get. If I add something to refrigerant, I'm going to change the whole dynamics inside the system. It may do something, it may not do something, it may just take up space, which reduces its efficiency. It may damage things. I knew a guy that actually put alcohol in auto air conditioning. He said it was great because snow came out of the vents. Uh, I would not call that an increase in efficiency. I would call that kind of stupid because it's probably going to affect 
the long-term viability of the compressor. Alcohol won't lubricate anything, so it could damage the compressor. There's many, many things like this that you can put in to refrigerants that are claimed to make it better. Don't use any of them, use this stuff. Just like it comes out of the jug. I don't say that brand, I don't care what brand. But, uh, use refrigerant that is virgin refrigerant or reclaimed. It can be either way. Most of this stuff now is reclaimed. Reclaimed does come up to the specs. Uh, the original equipment spec, so it's okay. But any additives you put in, uh, more, one of, another one, moisture removal. It's supposed to grab the moisture or something like that. No, no, none of that stuff. Put pure refrigerant in the system and longevity will be there, the performance will be there, it's not going to get better by putting stuff in. It's only going to get worse. So that's it on additives to refrigerants. None of the above.